Well, this is interesting. Back at the ticket office, it says that the distance is 1.15 miles. But here, well, as you can see, <laughs> so take your choice. It's all the way back there. Uh, it's it's pleasant enough walk. It's it's all like this. It's all even and and what have you. So uh, not a biggie. But this is um, the end of it. Pl plenty of places to sit down. Of course, this is the 9th of April. I, I would think in summer this is this is a whole different ball game. But you know, it's it's nice enough. There's a coffee shop back there and places to get um, nosh if you're so inclined. Of course, over there is Kent, and uh, this is uh, this is a way that the uh, vessels come in, come in to uh, wherever they're going. Just down there is Canvey Island, but if you go beyond, of course, you'll come into into um, London. Uh, th there are cruise ships that go from Tilbury, and uh, this is. This is the way in or out of central London. You go down there far enough, Tower Bridge, and you know you keep going, keep going, keep going. Do what you want. And um, here we have um, there's an RNLI Royal National Lifeboat Institution facility down there. Visit the lifeboats. And uh, as you know, I have uh, lots of respect for all of that sort of thing. Actually, anyway. Um, Nash and I are going to uh, have some nosh, I think, and then we're going to check out the lifeboats. What do you think of it so far, honey? I think it's very nice. Um, I'm happy to see the Thames so clear. And oh, yeah, can you explain that to everyone? Like you've you've mentioned this a few times actually that you you find this this is the Thames, the same Thames that is. The Thames, guys, and look, it's like a sea green. Which I've never seen it this color in London. No. And it has a lot to do with what's below the bed. So, like we've seen, there's like golden sand, um, like a golden sand beach, just. Oh right. Just yeah, to that, the left. That that was. Is, if you're facing now, the shore to the right. Right. That was what I mentioned about whether that's actually a natural beach or. Mm -hmm. Uh, if the sand's, you know, been uh, yeah. imported from somewhere. Yeah, so this is the same water that you see down in, in central London, but of course it's not so clean. Um, well, it, not necessarily it, clean, but it's, it's the it, color of it's, the, yeah, exactly. the, the it's bottom not, of the riverbed. Right, so it's not the actual water itself is dirty, it's just yeah. that, the, you know, what the water is is, uh, is, is above. Um, you know, the bottom, a sandy bottom or a muddy bottom is going to make a difference. And it's so wide here. Kind yeah. of amazes me that this yeah. is still the Thames, considering how wide it is. Right, right, right. We just walked a mile yeah. of it, and there's a lot more to go. Yeah. And of course, the reason this this pier is the longest pleasure pier in the world, and the reason for this um, it makes absolute sense, and that is is that when this is at low tide, you know, ships can't come here, right? I mean, there's there's no water here. Um, and and so the pier was 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 built this long so that well maybe at this precise point at low tide I'd like to be here at low tide actually to see how much water there is here um, but obviously there comes to a point if there's no water then the ships can't come um, yes that's interesting actually probably plenty of videos about that we can come back on Monday we can indeed